Welcome back everybody. My name is Tim. This is another Real Ideal Gear review and today we're looking at the Nightcore T4K, a pocket flashlight sometimes referred to as a keychain flashlight. Um, it's a rather large keychain flashlight. What we have here is the Skill Hunt EK1. This is about the size of a AAA battery and I think a legitimate keychain flashlight. But when you look at the T4K, obviously you're getting a lot more than just a single emitter. You're getting four emitters on this flashlight and uh, plenty of power when it comes to the turbo mode. But the real question is, what about the other modes? Because turbo, this is what the advertising, advertising almost always includes, is what is the highest output for this flashlight? What is the highest candela? All that, blah, blah, blah. The real issue, I think, with most flashlights is that the candela at the high end, at the turbo end, is not a problem, usually. It's the high mode and the medium mode. Typically high is also something that's throttled down. Turbo is throttled down in seconds. And the medium mode is probably the most stable mode of any level on a flashlight. So when you're looking at a flashlight like this, you have different mode levels. Let's take a look at it. And let's go all the way to the very bottom. In the very bottom, we have one lumen. And one lumen is actually, it's good. I like it. For a bottom level uh, illumination, one lumen is perfectly fine. And you're going to get, uh, let's see here, what does it say? 54 hours. And I've been running this, so it's usually in the 60s, 60 hours plus of illumination. Now, if I go to 15 lumens, that's not a huge step up from one. It really should be closer to 100, somewhere in the 70 range, I think. Um, but it's okay. Uh, 15 lumens, I get it. All right, so you want to have a little bit more. The next one is the one that kind of bothers me the most is you're only going up to 65. This is where you need to clear 100. And uh, 65 lumens, you get six hours and 15 minutes out of this, which is fine. Pretty good light illumination as far as like in the dark, it's not bad. This would be kind of like searching for something under the couch, in a closet, that kind of thing, underneath the car seat. Then you go from 65 to 200, which is actually a re respectable spread, but 200 is just not high enough. Again, when you're starting at 65, you go to 200, sounds good. But really, it should be about 100 to 300, maybe 350 would be an even better spread. And uh, it just doesn't do that. So your spread of 115, 65, and 200, in my opinion, for this flashlight, just doesn't cut it overall. So, yeah, it's, it's a great flashlight when it comes down to the size, um, the OLED display, uh, pretty good overall. I just do not like the levels that they designated for this flashlight. And I think this is about really all about battery conservation so that you can have these long run times on here, which if you're looking for something with long run times and you don't want to have something super bright, the T4K is a great option. Now the turbo mode goes from 200 lumens to 4,000 lumens. Again, huge, huge jump. And you only have it for seconds. So how valuable is that 4,000 lumens at say 15 seconds? when the next highest level is at 200. So to me, they kind of missed the ball on this one. I wish they'd have done a better job of distributing some of the light at the higher end of the levels. And I'm not going to harangue on that anymore. Now, it does have a great OLED display. I really like the, the idea here. Let's go. There we go. I really like, I'll shade this a little bit, having the OLED display tell me what I actually have left, what level I'm on. That's a great, great information panel. I love it. I think that's a great feature. The overall size, a little bit chunky for the pocket, um, pretty pretty wide. When you're looking at something like the uh, Lumentop Silver Fox, one of my favorite EDC flashlights of all time, magnetic base, all that, twist top user interface, but you can twist top to turn it from high, medium, low, and a great diffuser at the top, very wide dispersal beam. So very similar in a lot of the characteristics. This is a pocket carry, EDC, close quarters type flashlight. Now, when you look at the flashlight for the T4K and you look at like carrying this in your pocket, you can see right away that the T4K is just going to be more bulky in the pocket. Lengthwise, not a big deal. About the same lengthwise, but when you have four LEDs like this and uh, it does great, put out a great spread of light. That is for sure. But so does the Sum the <laughs> Sumin. The Lumen Top Silver Fox does a great job as well. Not only is it a shallow reflector in here, but it also has... Uh, the diffuser uh, on the lens there so it really spreads the light out very evenly so there are other options that are out there and of course this is probably price wise i'll put the price down below here but this is a much better value when it comes to what it does now it has one emitter so it's going to get hotter at the higher level but even at the higher level this the medium level on this one is very comparable to the high level on this one and so 
I just don't see I don't see the advantage of the T4K overall. So to me, this is a flashlight that will probably leave my collection. I'm just not that impressed with it anymore. I thought I was going to be impressed with it, but I'm not. So if you're looking for a cheap flashlight, this is probably going to end up on the website, realidealgear.com, for a very, very cheap price. I have carried it. It's got some scratches on it here and there, but um, it just doesn't, it doesn't fit for me. Now, if you're looking for something that's low power, this might be a flashlight for you and a great value. Now, I'm going to show you some video of the outdoor beam shots, and you get a real sense of how wide the beam is. And also the differentiation between the different levels and uh, how that works. Okay, this is definitely a pocket carry flashlight. Does a great job, good CRI. This is set right now at 200 lumens. Let's see here. One lumen, you can't see that. We're not gonna see it on the camera. This is 15 lumens, barely, you're gonna barely see this. I don't even know if you can get to the, the 10 yard. The one and the, the, the one and the, what was that, 15? They're just not bright enough for much of anything. And then you go to 200, or 65, I'm sorry, 1, 15. 65 is okay. It still is not showing up. It's barely showing up. You can barely see the sign right there. Now it's coming into focus. Um, but as far as, like, runtime goes, yeah, you're going to get a lot of runtime out of this. You're going to get 65, or I'm sorry, 65 lumens, 6 hours and 46 minutes out of this. So that's a good runtime, um, but it's just too low. So now, now you go up to 200 lumens. Now we're talking. Uh, but this just doesn't hit the minimum for me. Uh, I really need something in the 4 to 500 range, 300. It would be on the low, low end, 350. I, I would say 350 to 400, somewhere in there. 500, sometimes pushing it. Sometimes you get throttled down because of the heat. Depends on the, on the flashlight. But 350 to 400. This one's at 200. Um, and then the only other option is 4,000. Like, it's just too much contrast between them. I love the beam, though. It's extremely floody. There is no hot spot whatsoever. Totally lights up everything. There it turns down. It throttled down on itself. So good overall flashlight, just kind of for around the house, I would say. Um, pocket carry, maybe in the car. I wouldn't even use it in the car because it doesn't have a magnetic base to it. Um, if you're going to have something in the car, make sure it has a magnetic base. But for this flashlight, I think this is a good bedroom flashlight, uh, utility light maybe in a utility drawer with some tools, things like that. Just make sure it keeps you keep it charged up. Could it be a pocket carry? Yeah, it could be a pocket carry. Now, again, with 200 lumens, you're going to run this for 2 hours and 20 minutes. So pocket carry-wise, this is going to last a while because you're only using 200 uh, lumens. It's not burning through the energy. And this is an awesome CQ flashlight. I'm getting... Man, this has got to be 150 plus degree coverage from left to right. I'm looking right here. Yeah, it's close. Somewhere in there. We're getting close to left to right completely 180 here, but I think it's about 150. So good good coverage on left to right. Um, no hot spots. You have four emitters. And uh, let's get down here back to one. And you can kind of see... There's just not much there when it comes to the one lumen. This is a reading light, you know, camping. This might make a good camping light as far as like in the tent, in your pocket, kind of a backup flashlight. Um, it just doesn't have the lumens. Get back to 200. It doesn't have the lumens for anything that's real serious. I wouldn't consider this a safety and security flashlight, you know, on the campsite. Uh, definitely not perimeter security, um, but definitely security and convenience. Inside the tent, inside your home. Yeah, this is where it's going to shine. Okay, pocket carry, you know, in the car, just kind of a general utility flashlight. It's all right. I, I love this. I love the floodiness of it, though. You, you can't beat the floodiness of this light, although I have another flashlight I would, I would say is going to be very, very close to this, and uh, we'll get that one out here pretty soon. But this one does a great job of a flood beam. Yeah, you don't have to, you don't have to spray this light back and forth for very long to make sure that you see what's going on around. Now, again, this is 200 lumens. The only other option is 4,000, and you're only going to get like 10 seconds, 15 seconds of light out of it. So let's go back up to it. And there it goes. We're almost, there's halfway. We're going to lose it here in a minute. And there it goes. Back down to 200. It's okay. It's okay. Now, back up to 2,000 or 4,000. Happens even faster now. I can start to feel the heat building up. Yeah. It's good light. It's it's good. I would not recommend this for anything as a primary light. I don't think it has the variability of light strength.
that it needs to have for for more than just like I said inside the tent around the tent maybe uh, inside the house maybe around the house kind of in the pocket going to and from work in the bag work bag sling pack that kind of thing <laughs>